Hello! Chaos is on the way. Here it is! The Imperial Security Droid. This lady who said her arms ripped off by Groz and now has shields and a blaster. So it looks like close range and range and defensive tank. Excellent. New update has made all costumes visible now. You can see how they're locked and they're pretty cool. So if you want to see what character costumes for your main there are that you can get, scroll through, have a look. I think that's really cool. Like, look at this. Like an Imperial Director, the ISP. That's cool. So, there's a new map. We're gonna jump into a round and hopefully get Vader's Castle. Great news, we got into a party, we're playing Vader's Castle. I'm gonna go as Aymara, because there's been some buffs to Aymara. She's got a little little damage increase. So that's kind of fun. Aaron Tower got a buff, Scora got a nerf, Sentinel got a nerf. Little tweaks all around. You can read them in the description or the pinned comment, so have a look. Look at this map. This is cool. There's Vader's little chamber. He's back to tank. There's where he talked to Krennic. Take out Aaron Tao. I think we're going to see a lot more Aaron Tao's now with his buff. He got it. I think his buff is like... Needed, but at the same time, a good Aaron Tao is quite a pain. Especially when he's like, you know, bumping into you and taking you out and all that stuff. Lots of Imperial stuff coming because of the new character. Lots of Imperial costumes, everyone's got something fancy. Right now we're in the Ender Enforcer outfit for Aymara. That was already in the Season 1, but Season 2 is bringing everyone's things. You can fall off the map by the look of it. I'm guessing you can go on the lava. I'm not going to try it. Actually, it looked like there was a shield on it. Maybe not. Maybe not that one. Maybe we can fall on pits though. I'm glad this is a control. I'm sorry, I'm not really going to help. I kind of want to look around and see what else there is. Hey, hey, hey. Chill out, chill out team. Be cool, be cool. I just wanna, I just wanna view, man. I can't like sneak into this map without players in it. But uh, to my party member who invited me to a party, I'm sorry if we lose. I'll try and help, but I wanna have a look. All right, where are we? There's the Krennic thing. Great, I hid. High fighters, so you can fall in the lava. That's good to know. I wish it looked more visually interesting than just, you know, unfinished map down there. Never like that look. Or at least like let the camera pull back and look at you from above so you don't see that ugly mess of like, you know, broken structures. Okay, here's outside. Here's where we'll see a TIE fighter if we're gonna see one anywhere. Hey, hey, be cool, be cool. All right, I wanna see this TIE fighter that I can hear zooming around. I'm gonna see it. Do you reckon we can get down there? Maybe. Oh, we got room here. I hear Vader. Oh, ho I see Vader. Hello. Now he's dead, remember. At this one time, he's done. This is actually quite a weird map. This is, you know, that's very Empire Strikes Back. Little nest egg thing there that he sits in. That was on his Star Destroyer, though. So, like, this is, uh, this is his castle. So, I guess they assume he had one in the, um, in the castle as well. It's very Mustafa feeling. Actually, it's on Mustafa. No, no, of course. I was say, because we saw the droids, the, like the lava droids from Revenge of the Sith. These screens are very Mustafa. It, yeah, this castle is on Mustafa, dum dum. Forget my lore. Take back my Star Wars lore degree. Cool map. I like it. It's moody. The lighting looks good. I'm still going to say, hey, Jawa, I, I kind of want to hang out here at this like hangar point and see if I can spot a TIE fighter flying over. Now keep in mind, this is like, um, you know, we're not actually at Vader's castle on Mustafa. These are all this billionaire huts recreations for this WWE style thing. So this is, you know, there's a screen, there's, there's all fake. It's all make-believe. It's nothing. So it's just like, for some reason, you know, it's it's almost like someone like recreated Hitler's house to fight in. It's a bit strange when you think of it in terms of that. Can I get down there? Good to know. Okie dokie. Let's have a little looky around again. Keep going. We're winning. Barely. But they are capturing C. I don't, they could be bots. I don't think they are bots, but it could be good. Good buddy. Is it way? It's a very flat 
feeling map. I'm gonna say that because it's not. I wouldn't. It doesn't seem there's really a lot of levels, layers to things. It's all kind of level. It's just corridors and stuff. It could be very fun to play as um, J3 and Reeve on this map. Get a bit of like Obi Wan Anakin style thing. That could be kind of fun. Oh, I'll do it. I'll do it. We'll, we'll get him. Anyone else want some? You can have some. Alright, let's get back to that hangar section. That seems to be the most interesting part. And see if we can spot these TIEs. Actually, there's Vader's TIE fighter. Do you, do you reckon it's like just made out of cardboard and the lava's just like, you know, like, um, orange juice or something like that, like Simpson style? It's not actually lava, it's all pretend. 